Afternoon. Okay, um, on this particular one here, this is a, uh, let's see if we can find it. This is a UW32-1, and there's a conversion number for that. And uh, a little later on in this video, I, I have a brand new movement to replace this one. So, oops, went the wrong way. Uh, what's going on with this one here is I'm going to try and come in a little closer. Is you can see uh, this pushing is bad. And the next one up here is bad. And this one here is bad. There's two or three over here that are bad. Now I'm going to turn the clock over. This is the grandfather clock, by the way. I'm going to turn the clock over. And we'll just show you that. See how that's wobbling? That's shot. That shaft. Now that, that could be repaired. But uh, it's not easy to do. And uh, a lot of times you end up bending that shaft trying to get it out of there and rebushing it. So this, this particular clock is so wore out that uh, I decided that it uh, just needed to be replaced. Which I'm showing you a brand new movement and uh, how the factory oils that new movement. So this is kind of worth watching. And uh, you'll get uh, an idea of, of the, the things that you need to do. Now, I do supply the uh, grease, uh, which uh, you can use to grease your cams up here and your, your uh, strike cam over here. And uh, then the star wheels and the hammers in the back here. So, now here's the interesting fact here. Right here, I'm going to bring this in as close as I can without blurring you out. All right, this right here, this is a threaded bushing. And how that's done is they have a little tool that uh, line you line up the, the, the pivot best you can and you just cut clean through it and then you thread that and then you put a threaded bushing in. Then on the, the outer side edges you kind of peen that in there so that it doesn't move or spin out of there. And so if you go in there with a reamer and try to ream that hole out and re-put re a new bushing inside that, it, you got a bag of worms. So I'm not a fan of them, and I don't like them. And you can see all three of these were put in that way. And that's just because some guy doesn't want to, or some gal, <laughs> better not leave them out, probably just doesn't want to take the time to tear the clock down and do it right. So then the bushings don't, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, the pivots don't get polished over a long period of time. And that grease builds up in there, and you can see a huge amount of grease in this. There's, there's a pile, look at that, it's just full of old sludge grease and uh, see all that now that's that's like sandpaper on those pivots like I was yeah, saying that. that's like uh, that black sludge that, that you see is just like sandpaper and uh, it's a pumice the grease builds up with a sludge in it and then what that does is that just eats away at those pivots and uh, over time you know the, then you're going to end up repivoting uh, couple gears or, or you're going to try and replace them. This particular movement's still available and um, you're going to see in the new uh, video uh, that I, I ordered a new movement in for this customer and what I forgot when I took the clock out to the to the customer is that these hammers are modified and on uh, the new one they were about oh, an inch and a half longer and they hit they were too long so I had to spend about 45 minutes cutting those and shaping those and bending those so they'd fit the chime. I forgot all about that. And so that's something food for thought. If you're replacing the movement, check your chime hammers and make sure that uh, the new ones are, are close to the old ones. Uh, it's a lot easier to do this in the uh, shop than it is to stand up there in a, in a hot old house and try and put those... Uh, hammers and adjust them to get them to strike properly so with that i'm going to go ahead and uh, turn this video over to the uh, new one and you'll see the uh, white grease that uh, they use to do with the hammers and the, the cams and all that and it's just interesting to, to see what a new one looks like from the factory so without further ado i'll kick this into the next video
Okay, uh, there's a little buzzing in the background. That's because I'm cleaning the clock in the big solid tank. Uh, this is a, uh, a brand new uh, clock movement. And uh, we uh, ordered this in for a customer because her clock is just totally shot. And it would have been a nightmare to fix it. Somebody had gotten in there and uh, used a uh, threaded tool and cut the uh, pivot holes out and put threaded uh, bushings in, and I, I'm not a fan of them. So, I mean, it just, and then now you can't, you can't do anything but use the threaded bushing. And uh, if, if it's bad, and you got to take the old one out, and they peened it in. So, it, it, had, been, it had, had its better days. So, we just decided that... Uh, it would be better for the clock the clock, clock owner to go ahead and buy, our, uh, buy get a new clock. So that's what we did. But I wanted to show you uh, some of the things that uh, even the, the manufacturer, it's kind of nice because you can see how the manufacturer actually uh, does this. So let's see if we can get this in here a little bit closer. All right, first off, we're just going to wiggle these gears so you can see the actual inshake here. Now I can see that there is oil. Okay, first off, we're just using our thumb and we're going on the outside of this clock and I can see that there is oil I can see it bouncing around in there so it's just barely in the in the uh, you can actually just see a little ring of oil around this you can see it here so you know this doesn't have to be oiled they've correctly oiled it from the factory imagine that okay the next thing they did is uh, they put a little oil, a little grease, a little white uh, grease in here. They put a little of that grease on the cam. This is the uh, this is the uh, cam up here, and they the uh, oil put a little bit of white grease on this cam, and a little bit right in here. They also did the same over here. Put a little bit of grease on there, and uh, let's turn it over. Now, on the hammers, they got white grease right in here on each one of the hammers, which is what I do too, by the way. And uh, let's move on around. I can see uh, oil in all of the bearings. So I know this clock had been properly oiled. Now, I don't believe the, the kind of oil they're using is what I would use, but... I'm not going to clean this or do something silly like put different oil in there. So and then they put grease here on the star wheel, right in here, so that this comes up and down. And they put grease on the star wheel itself, right here on the on the cam that activates activates the star wheel, which lifts the hammer cams. So. Other than that, and uh, I don't really want to get my fingers all over this thing, they, they come uh, pre-chained so that the chains don't come off. And this is a uh, UW32 319H01. So it's a German-made clock. And the company that makes it is Hermel. And uh, sometime tomorrow morning, I think we'll run out and put this clock in. I, I won't even bench test this one here. It's a brand new and I know it'll run. Well, I have had them not, but I, this one will run, I'm sure. So it's not worth taking it all apart, putting it on the bench, test bench, and running it. But uh, I just wanted you to see uh, the difference in... This is brand new, and, and you can see right where the, the factory itself did all the oiling. So 
when I oil them I also give you grease with my kits and then I show you how to use that grease on there I use a little tool like this here and uh, we have another uh, grandfather clock that I'm going to install back in the case and it's been sitting here because it was uh, an older clock and so I needed to put it on the test stand and I just never got around to it because I had two or three ahead of it but we're on the last one up there on the test stand and I'll put, put that clock that uh, I showed you how we cleaned and oiled it and uh, I'll finish that video up and then I'll add this with that video so thanks for watching uh,